Pro wrestling is an ever-evolving industry, with encyclopedias being updated, documentaries being released, and relationships mended or destroyed. The attitudes and narratives of wrestling superstars begin to change. Individuals like the Ultimate Warrior, Bruno San Martino, and others are brought back into prominence while the history of some of the other bright characters are being washed away or changed. Some are pigeonholed and being remembered for that one event or that one specific moment in time. Others become as insignificant as a crossword answer. My job as PWP's resident historian is to remind you of the impact that these individuals and teams left on the industry. This is PW Profiles. of professional wrestling were filled with some of the more memorable giants in the history of the sport. Andre the Giant, King Kong Bundy, The Giant, The Undertaker. But what name seems to be left behind? And that name is Big John Studd. Now, Big John Studd had a lengthy career, and he had quite a bit of accolades, so I wouldn't necessarily say he's underrated. But I do think that as time goes on, he's getting forgotten for some of his other colleagues. Now, some of the people in this series had other gimmicks, other names, and I don't really bring them up because they really didn't play any part in their career. Now, the difference in this is Big John Studd actually began his WWF career as an executioner or not as WWF career excuse, yeah WWF career as executioner number two where they won the WWF tag titles in 1976 interestingly enough on a side note Nikolai Volkov was the third executioner um, stud performed for the AWA and the mid-Atlantic territory but it was in 82 when he came back to the WWF as a monster heel managed by Classy Freddy Blassie that he really took form. He brought a stretcher to the ring and would beat his opponents so badly that they'd be taken out on a stretcher. A gimmick that was used by Sid Vicious and, for a little bit, Braun Strowman. The, um, the largest, no pun intended, feud of Big John Studd's career was with Andre the Giant to see who was the true giant in wrestling. This was the precursor to the Big Show, who was the giant, and Kevin Nash in WCW trying to figure out the real giant. Studd and Blassie issued a body slam challenge, offering $10,000 to any wrestler who could slam him. Andre was the first to do this. This was repackaged and redone at the first WrestleMania, where Big John Studd and Andre the Giant had another body slam challenge. This time, Andre lost, he'd have to retire. Big John Studd lost. Then Bobby Heenan would give Andre the money. Andre obviously won, and he tossed the money to the fans before Heenan could get the duffel bag back, before he could toss it all to the fans in the crowd. Now, this WrestleMania one obviously had, you know, Wendy Richter being managed by Cindy Lauper, Hulk Hogan team with Mr. T, but I think this body slam challenge is one of the most overlooked matches on the card. Nothing, nothing spectacular, you know, no 450 splashes, no super kicks, but just seeing these two big men, but they didn't perform like a Viscera or a Yokozuna, you know, these guys were just clubbing each other. It was like watching two giant Redwoods hitting each other. After this WrestleMania, he formed a tag team with King Kong Bundy. 
helping to injure Andre's sternum in 85. Um, they continued to feud with Andre, and Andre would recruit people like Hulk Hogan, Hillbilly Jim, and Junkyard Dog. Stud took part in one of the more memorable moments in WrestleMania 2 when he was in the Over the Top Rope Battle Royal, which included all of the NFL players as well. Um, Big John Stud eliminated William Perry in the match, and that's when William Perry reached up to shake his hand, and he pulled Stud right out of the ring. Ironically enough, it was Andre the Giant who won this battle royal. Big John Stud continued feuding with Andre, into the point where Andre started the machine's angle, where he would wear a mask to say, you know, he's not Andre, he's Giant Machine. Kind of like the Executioners, there was also Big Machine, who's Blackjack Mulligan, and Super Machine, who's Bill Eady. Um, Big John Stud was definitely someone, he did not have a reputation of not selling pain to wrestlers with little or no in-ring skills. He proved this against Ted Arcidi, who was called the world's strongest man at the time. He muscled up with the weightlifter and showed that he had no wrestling skills in the ring. Bundy and Stud continued to team up where they tried to win the WWF tag team titles, but to no avail. And then Stud kind of disappeared until about 88, 89, when he came back to feud with Bobby Heenan. Why did he feud with Bobby Heenan, his longtime manager? Because Bobby Heenan was now managing Andre. Big John Stud would then win the second Royal Rumble in 1989. He was the first man to win it at that lucky number 27 spot. This is one of those rumbles people talk about because it was an early one, but again, there's nothing special with it. No glitz, no glamour. John Studd didn't go on to WrestleMania for the main event. Instead, he was the special guest ref between Jake Roberts and Andre the Giant. Fitting that this would be his last large moment in wrestling. Um, he wrestled on the indies for a moment... But he then was slowly retired. John Studd, as an executioner, and as Big John himself, had some, as Dusty George would say, clubbering matches with some of the other giants of the era. He was inducted into the WCW Hall of Fame in 1995, and eventually the WWE Hall of Fame in 2004. I, as I said earlier, think John Studd is overlooked from the era because you always hear, you hear about the Andres, the Bundys, the Kamalas. And the only thing that I can really think is Big John Studd never really had a huge program with Hulk Hogan. So as Bruce Pritchard says, Hulk Hogan would sprinkle some Hulk dust on people. Maybe it was this Hulk dust that kept a lot of their names alive, you know, 10, 20, 30 years after the fact. But if you're able to, go out, find a Big John Stud match. Because at 6 foot 10, 365, Big John Stud did some tremendous work in the ring is of the WWF. And it is because of this that Big John Studd is the real giant of our PW profiles. <laughs>